tough time. We were all in separate directions. He was traveling for work, being separate all the time, middle of the night work, and I just really wasn't enjoying my life. It wasn't my, our DNA structure as a family. I just prayed before bed, and I just got on my knees, and I was just crying and praying before bed, just saying, give me an answer, something. I went to bed that night, and I woke up the next morning, not even really remembering my prayer, but just saying, oh, pretzels. I gotta make soft pretzels today. They all thought I was crazy. I spent the next, like, literally six months baking pretzels. I actually thought she was going through something. I Finally, when I came up with the right pretzel, and everybody said, oh my gosh, this is a combination of a New York City street pretzel and a mall pretzel. It's the perfect combination. When I came up with that, that's when I remembered the prayer. Hot pan! Hot pan. And I looked at him and I said, go. Go sell us to amusement parks. Go do something. Go and do something to change our lives with this. Because I'm telling you, this is too good to pass on. It's delicious. So I just sold my whole business and we put everything into this. And now, instead of me traveling along the south with that old business, we're together. It smells delicious. And then it just sort of evolved and the children were able to watch the whole process of the beginning steps of opening a business. Our pretzel business isn't just about business. It's about these kids, their friends, the people in the community. Everybody's like a well-oiled machine going this way, going that way. Usually a lot going on. And I'm, I'm proud of my, my children. Order is complete, everybody! Woo!